What's going on guys, Mike O back with another TTM recap episode. Got about six returns or so to share with you today. These are things that have come in in the last week or so, since whenever my last TTM video was. So I figured I'll just, uh, they've been piling up, so I figured I'll share them with you, let you know uh, what I got. I think two are football and four are baseball. It's nice to see some of the baseball returns filing in. Usually as the season comes to a close, some guys pick up their mail, they go throw it, and uh, they get some of the stuff back, so that's always a good thing. Hopefully a few more trickle in during the course of the off season, and then uh, in terms of active players, it'll be looking forward towards next year and next spring, and you know, the retired guys, there's people you can always get in the off season and then of course you have all the other sports so this one is actually from a quite a while ago uh, I sent it to my brother's address and he just found it and gave it to me it's Robert Kraft one of one in nine days um, I don't know if you can tell on camera too well but it's really not um, it's not the best quality signature it just got a little bubbly and stuff like that I had a Bill Belichick that was the same way this is a custom I did and uh, unfortunately, I cheapened out a little bit and I got these done at a different print shop. And the quality is fine for what it is, but um, I should have prepped it. If I would have prepped it, it would have come out fine. So one of one in nine days, Robert Kraft. You know, he's one of those guys who's a great signer and I can always resend to him at some point. So not a big deal. This next one is a, my second football return. This is also a little bit disappointing. This guy charges $10. Uh, it's a one of one success in 20 days. Sonny Jurgensen. So nice Redskins uh, star there. But unfortunately, he used a really dying black Sharpie there. And uh, the fact that it's done on a black and white photograph really makes it just kind of blend in. It doesn't pop at all. If that was done in blue, it would have popped. If it was done in a strong black Sharpie, I, I don't think that would have been the best choice, but it at least would have looked really good and stood out. This kind of just doesn't work. So that's pretty disappointing. Uh, one of one in 20 days. Uh, I'd seen that he had been signing lately off and on, so I decided to take a chance. And unfortunately, it doesn't look great, but you know, that's part of the TTM game. They just don't always come out the way you want them to. Sometimes they're spectacular. More often than not, they're really good, but every now and then you get one that just, it's not great. So I have a few baseball returns here that actually didn't turn out too well either. Um, this one is one of one success, returned in 218 days. I believe it was sent to spring training. It's Zach Lee, featured here in a Dodgers uniform. I think he was with the Mariners in camp. And I don't even know if he pitched in the majors. I think he was in the um, minors all year. But that signature, I don't even know if you can see it. It's down there. It is horrible. Uh, he has a really light signature to begin with. I was looking at some pictures of other successes. And he just signs really, really light and really, really thin. And honestly, this one smudged a bit. And the way it's smudged, it almost looks as if it were a stamp. Um, it's not a stamp, but at least I don't believe it is. I don't think Zach Lee needs a stamp. Um, but I think he just used a really crummy, thin Sharpie. And, uh, you know, it, it just doesn't look very good. So that's another kind of unfortunate one. Then I got Brandon Finnegan. Uh, one of one in 14 days. This was sent to a private Addy because I believe he was hurt. I didn't expect it back anytime soon. He signed with a ballpoint pen. Um, so the signature is okay. He's another guy with a small signature. So ballpoint pen really doesn't stand out well on cards, you know. It's fine for like an index card or something and obviously preferred for a baseball, but um, you know, I've gotten Brandon Finnegan a few times. Yeah, he's been a pretty good signer over the course of his career, um, but this one definitely is just not great. Cool for the collection, I'll certainly keep it, but you know, a Sharpie would certainly stand out more. So the next few, I got three more here. So what did I get, four? I guess I got seven to share with you, not six. Um, this is a 206 day return. Uh, one of two success from Keon Kella. I don't really know how to pronounce his name very well, which is disappointing because I definitely pride myself in being able to pronounce these guys' names. But uh, he's with Texas. Sent to them in spring training, one of one, one of two and two of six. There you see he didn't sign the 2016, which is a shame. 
but he did sign the 2017 in black Sharpie. Nice bold signature, so happy with that. Love getting the basic tops card signed. Always try and get as many of them done as possible. So there's a nice one for the collection. Texas Rangers are, you know, a pretty decent team for TTM autographs. Um, I think they do a pretty good job of sorting things out and having a lot of players sign things. All right, next up, this is a 4-4 success return in six days. So sent this late in the year. It's coming from Philly's first base coach. We'll see for how much longer because with the manager shakeup, all the coaches' jobs are in jeopardy, but it's Mickey Morandini. Longtime Phillies player, played on the 93 team, made an all-star team. And then towards the end of his career, he played with the Cubs and the Blue Jays. I think he might have been with the Expos for a year as well. But So first up here is his 2001 Topps card, uh, featuring him in the Blue Jays Uni. I just had this one laying around, and I thought it was kind of cool. Kind of an oddball one. I like to get some of the oddball cards signed. And I have a ton of Morandini stuff. I've gotten them many times over the years in the Phillies Uni. So I thought that one was pretty cool. Signed it in blue. Then I got this, was it 96 Upper Deck signed in blue. A little bit of a dark spot there. I think I actually got this in one of my pack rips on the channel. So that's pretty cool. Then he signed this 2000 Topps card in blue. And finally, I guess this is 96 tops, or 97. Signed a 97 one in blue, so very cool. Like I said, I have a lot of Morandini autos. Um, really good player back in the day. You know, obviously not like a Hall of Fame or anything like that, but probably a better player than a lot of people realize. Um, you know, he just, he came up with a lot of clutch hits. It was a triples machine for a while. A lot of fun to watch, and, uh, you know, I guess you start aging yourself and you start feeling kind of old when you realize it, but I can uh, think back to being at his Major League debut back in, I think it was 1990, uh, being there with my dad, and he was kind of telling me about him a little bit. Last one here is a two of three success from Phillies outfielder Daniel Nava with the Red Sox for quite a while. Had a really good year with the Phillies. Um, did have some injury problems. He did not sign this card, which is unfortunate, but he signed the other two, including this 2015 Tops. Really cool looking card. I can still remember his first at bat in the majors was against the Phillies in an interleague game and he hit a grand slam off of Joe Blanton. But uh, yeah, he had a good year this year. I thought he was gonna get traded at the deadline. I thought he was a useful player for someone, but he had some injury issues around then. Didn't end up getting moved. And then he signed this Ginter card in black. So that's a beautiful looking card. And I ended up getting him at the Phillies festival I'm pretty sure I got the Ginter done because I wasn't sure if I'd get a return from him or not. And uh, that one I got in blue, so now I have a black and blue for the collection. So he was two of three in 166 days. So pretty nice little group of TTMs there. No uh, superstars or anything, but you know, whenever you have a stack of TTMs like this, that's always a good thing. So really happy to get them all in. Thank you guys for watching as always. Comment below, let me know what you think of the returns. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time. Have a great one.